Hey everybody, welcome back to The Dude's Kitchen and if it's your first time here, remember to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. In today's episode, we're making a gordita burger. Now you've all heard of gordita tacos. Gordito? Gordita? Anyhow, I'm making one, done this before, and these are absolutely fantastic. Let me show you how I make them. So for the gordita burger, we're going to use 80-10 meat. Of course, we're going to have taco shells, and uh, I'm using corn tortillas. You can use flour, I just prefer corn. Of course, we just have some extra sharp cheddar cheese to, to bind these two together. On the burger, we're using Uncle Steve's smoke bomb. You can use salt, pepper, garlic, whatever you want. Onion, and we're gonna throw in a little bacon. Every burger needs caramelized onions, so we're just going to make up some caramelized onions. Pretty simple. Cut up about that much. Cut them in half. Grab a pan. Throw them in the pan like that. We're gonna drizzle this with a little bit of EVOO. Now we're gonna put it on the Cuisinart. We have about one and a three quarter pounds of burger here. So we're just gonna whip up some burgers. Smash them like so, smash them down. Looking good, make a couple more. And there we have it. Let's throw some Uncle Steve's smoke bomb on it. We're gonna use some Uncle Steve's smoke bomb on these. Give it a nice coating. Those are perfect. Let's put them on the Weber kettle. The Weber kettle is at about 450 degrees at this point. And we're just gonna put these in the middle because you know me, I do enjoy indirect heat. Now let's start on our gordita. It's time to check our onions. They're looking good, they're coming along. We're gonna put them off to the side because we're gonna start making our gorditas. Now remember, we're using corn tortillas for this. You can use flour if you want, no big deal. Spread our cheese over it. I'm just using a sharp cheddar cheese. Spread it out a little bit, the cheese, because the cheese is really what's going to hold this all together. One taco shell down, another one down, just like that. So at this point, we're just waiting for our cheese to melt so we can flip this over. Let's check on our burgers. Burgers are looking good, we're using that indirect heat method. <laughs> Runaway burger. Perfect, those are coming along great. Let's go back to our gordita. The cheese on our gorditas look to be melted enough to give it a nice flip. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that cheese. Oh, I can hardly wait. Hardly wait to try this. All right, we're gonna give this a few more minutes and I think everything is done so we can start putting our gordita burger together. I think our gorditas are done. So just take them off, throw them on the plate like that. Our hamburgers are done, our onions are done. Let's finish this up. As you see here, we have everything lined out for this gordita burger. I wanna show you something though. This is kind of the funky part. I put it in like that. That could be a problem. So what we're gonna do, take it out. Cut our burger in half. Now, lay it in. Look at that. What I'm gonna do, add some bacon to it. Right? Add some onion over the top. Maybe a tomato or two if you want it. You could add lettuce to this, pickles, anything else you want to this. 
That's a damn good looking gordita burger. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Holy moly. You hear that crunch? Man, this has got intense flavor in it. Get the cheese out of that. You get the Uncle Steve smoke bomb on your burger. You could use salt, pepper, garlic, whatever you wanted if you don't have it. Of course, you get a little bit of the tomato and the onion. Oh. Mmm. And of course the bacon just shines through on this. All right guys, the recipe's down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and ring that bell. Gordita hamburgers, you gotta try this. All right, we'll see you next time. Everybody take care.